So we'll lay this pig down on a skinning cradle. These are really handy to have. If you don't have a skinning cradle, you can make one pretty easily out of, out of wood or whatever you have. Seth's gonna wash off a little bit here, the back hock. Anywhere where we open this pig up, we, we wanna make sure that it's as clean as possible. So he'll start first by making an incision through that rear hock, cutting along the back of the leg on both sides. And then he'll go up the midsection. A lot of times you'll see he's gonna use his, his thigh to just keep that leg where he wants, pushing up against it. Now at this point he's gonna cut through the hock once again, you don't really need to get a saw out if you know where the joint is. And you can lay that one aside and start on this side. Now you'll notice when he cut through that hock, he did it in such a way that he didn't cut the, the tendon, I guess what would be like the Achilles tendon, and he's gonna do the, leave that intact so that we can put the gamble on and lift this pig up. So now that he's got both rear legs opened up, he's gonna reach right inside here on this inside of this thigh and start peeling this side back. Now, very quickly here, he's gonna get into the, the side meat where you get the bacon from. So he's gonna to wanna to stay right along the hide. Now pork hides are very thin. In this case, we will not be saving the hide, so not a real concern if he cuts a hole in the hide. But he certainly doesn't want to take any of the side meat off with his knife and leave it on the hide because that's going to wind up getting into our bacon. The technique that we use here is we hand skin to a certain point and then we're going to use a hoist to pour pull the remainder of the hide off of this pig. This pig is approximately 300 pounds. Um, we're going to be probably going to be at a hanging weight of right around 200 or 210. So 300 pounds being the live weight. Now Seth's going to use his thumb and that tendon holding that leg up and then he uses his knee to actually push that hide down and start prepping it for when we peel the hide off of the remainder. So the first side's done, now he's gonna move over and he's gonna do basically the same process on the other side. Now you'll prob we'll probably get asked this question, um, in this case Seth is not using the six inch curved Victorinox, he's using um, what would be like a six inch straight blade. Uh, it's just what he prefers for skinning. May get called out that we're not using a, a, a true skinning blade, um, but that's, that boils down to personal preference. And after doing thousands of pigs, if this is the knife that Seth likes and it, does, it does the job that he wants it to do, there's certainly no reason why what's considered the standard has to be used. Around the second leg, here's where you want to be careful that you get this to start peeling correctly or else we simply won't be able to pull this hide. Now this pig's been it's been about 10 minutes since it was slaughtered. Um, just using a knife so far, we haven't had to get a saw out. Carcass has stayed extremely clean. Seth's gonna use this knife to split the brisket open so when we go to eviscerate the hog, everything's ready to go. So now he'll put the gamble in. We'll go up. 
Now here we have a chain hoist and we've got actually embedded in our floor we've got a, a D-ring so we can hook this hoist up. So we're just essentially going to be pulling the pig. We'll pull the pig right out of the hide. So you'll need to make a an incision back here when you when you apply some pressure to the pig. You'll want to cut through this joint on the tail and you'll see it's pulling really nicely here on this side. And on this side there's a there's a, a tiny bit but with just a little bit of knife work you can you can get this to pull like you want. So you might have to help it out just a tiny bit. So now that we've got it to this point, we're just going to rehook the chain. Go to another D ring. And we'll continue to hoist this pig up. Here again, you might have to help it around the shoulders just a little bit. But if you start the process correctly, it's going to pull right out of that. And there you have it. The pig has been skinned and the only thing really left to do with this carcass is just to eviscerate it. So Seth's gonna wash his hands, show you how he removes the entrails. Now we know we're aided by the fact that we have an electric hoist here and if you don't have an electric hoist you, you can certainly use a pulley or something to get this up in a tree that makes it a lot easier. But here he made an incision down to where he split the brisket open. At this point he can start to loosen up these intestines. He's going to go back here around the rectum and he's going to make a cut all the way around the anus so that way that's freed up and he can just pull that down and out the front. Once again, we do this just as a means of everything stays super clean. Uh, no, we do not use the intestines to make casings. So now at this point, Seth's got a pretty firm grip on it. He's going to just pull it right down, cut through the esophagus and trachea, and that pig has now been skinned, gutted, and we'll split the kidneys open so the inspector can take a look and then we'll pull, we'll, we call this pulling the leaf lard. So he's going to reach in and he's going to grab a hold of the, the inside lard, pull that up just to free it up. Right, here's the first time we've used a saw. He's going to go ahead and split this H bone open get it ready for the horizontal bandsaw so that we can split the pig in half. So just so that our bandsaw fits in it, he went ahead and made a cut just to get started so we could fit our bandsaw through. At this point, we'll go ahead and put this pig on our high rail, wheel it over to our scale, and we'll find out what our hanging weight is. Looks like we dressed out at 218, 219. This pig is now ready for final inspection by the USDA and it'll go into our cooler and get broke down into further cuts, which we'll be bringing you on an upcoming video. All right, that's been the skinning, gutting, 
uh, process of this pig. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you a video on actually breaking down this pig into all the further cuts. So once again, thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe and you'll find everything that's new and up to date with the Bearded Butchers.